last couple semesters, one of the things I've noticed is that um, you'll give an assignment to students and you'll assume they're going to use the LMS and some fairly traditional ways of submitting materials, but instead they'll go out to a third-party application that you may not have heard of and they'll say, oh, this is a much better way for me to organize my content and materials. And then um, at the end of it, rather than sending the material to you on the LMS, they will invite you to join their group mm -hmm. on this third-party uh, application, um, which has prompted some really interesting discussions of, you know, who is submitting to whom, and, <laughs> and which way is this, is this work? <laughs> right, and at the end, is where's the record of what was, was achieved? Is it on campus, or is it somewhere else? So it's been interesting. Uh, not quite sure how to think about it yet. Yeah. I'd like to talk a little bit about our experience with uh, clicker technology, too, because to me that's a big engagement yeah. tool. And when I talked about the difference between disciplines, I think, you know, the scientists and mathematicians really like using clickers to try to, you know, just check in with students to see whether they're really grasping the material by, you know, they'll talk for a while and then ask a question and see. And sometimes they they ask a question, they get, you know, the students respond, and then they'll say, okay, now turn to your neighbor and talk about the answer, and then they'll, a they'll ask the question again. And the answers almost always change to be more, a larger percentage correct after, as a result of those conversations. So uh, the other thing that I see happening at our institution is t faculty really trying hard to move beyond just asking the sort of factual multiple choice, you know, did you get this fact down and into the higher level thinking kinds of questions that really challenge students to, to truly see if they, they have grasped the higher concepts in the, in the discussion. Um. Oh, were you going to say something? <laughs> yeah, I, I see uh, the same thing you mentioned. Uh, there is a small group of faculty that are that is bringing all kinds of new uh, tools into class, and some are not yet doing that. I think um, maybe it's important to to mention that in Holland we don't have so much online courses. We have a few. But mostly students are coming to universities, so they hire a room. They are not on campus. We have some, I think, two or three colleges where uh, students live in, but mostly students come to the campus. And um, so I think that might be a difference in the use of things like LMS also. So we have more blended uh, uh, they come to class and, and coming to that you use the LMS. So maybe that's, that hinders a bit the, the further use of the LMS. I can imagine if, uh, if you have to use it with distant uh, learning, then you should uh, speed up to, uh, to use uh, things. We have quite uh, some practice with using all kinds of video with by students. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a few years ago, they had to uh, to, to, to carry those uh, heavy materials, but nowadays we even have those those tiny flip mm -hmm. cameras, and students can uh, hire those cameras, or they, they don't pay for it. I don't know if it's the right word. Rent. Uh, yes, uh, and then uh, do things with it. So, uh, for instance, at the teacher training. Uh, colleges, uh, students are asked to um, flip uh, situations in classroom where they are practicing uh, teaching, and uh, afterwards they have to reflect on it, and then uh, uh, yeah, stream the video and put it in their, into their portfolio, mm -hmm. for instance. So it is moving along, but you have the, the, the innovators Mm -hmm. are already doing those mm -hmm. things and there are also faculty members that uh, will look on a bit and then maybe later on. <laughs> we have some of that too and one class I really like is in philosophy, ancient, you know, ancient Greek philosophy which you wouldn't mm -hmm. really expect to have much to do with 
modern technology, but she does have her students make a video about one of the tales that they're reading in philosophy and you know so you've got students all dressed up in togas and may, you know and they and the acting is terrible and but you can sort of see that just the experience of going through and making this video will cement the reading in their minds in a way that never would have just you know have reading it and talking about it or whatever so mm -hmm.